We have a group of uh, 26 youths that will be crossing, that have just crossed 3,800 miles. Um, Tell us a little bit about that whole trek. Yeah, yeah, I have to do it without crying. It's very emotional today. The Jet Riders, uh, two dozen teenagers who have ridden across the country on bicycles to raise money for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Uh, the ages are 14 and up. Uh, it's phenomenal to see these youngsters who are really touring the country and raising money for a good cause. So that's happening today. They're crossing the finish line here in Massachusetts after a cross-country journey. The Jet Foundation was founded in 2001 to fight Duchenne muscular dystrophy. My son, Jet McSherry, was diagnosed when he was five years old. Uh, it came as quite a trauma to us to know that uh, his life would be cut short before the age of 20, sometimes before the age of 30 with some treatments. How long have they been on the road? Nine, nine weeks. Nine weeks? Yeah. How, much, how many miles can they do a day? I tried, I tried they do 70 to 100 miles every day. This Christian Youth Organization decided to take the Jet Foundation on as their personal cause. Uh, they decided to advocate for the organization as they went through different cities and towns. Um, they crossed the Rockies, they hit thunderstorms, they sometimes were at a loss for shelter at night. Um, they're just teenagers. When you see them come through, you're not going to believe that these are the heroes that they are because they don't look like Lance Armstrong. They look like you and I. They're just regular kids. And they really did an extraordinary effort. I can't thank them enough. I can't thank the organization enough. And I'm just so proud of them. Can you, can you tell us about Megan? I can tell you about Megan. She's my niece. And we've been watching her on the website all summer. Um, and watching the group and looking at the pictures and the maps. And um, we're so excited for her. We can't wait to hug her. Well, I think it was very heartwarming at the beginning. I was with them when they dipped their back tires in uh, the beach at Seaside, Oregon. That was very exciting for us. And uh, Jet and I were there. We got to go march out into the water and hold their hands. And it was very heartwarming. what you have done means to me, to the foundation, and to my family. And also for those other boys who have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I think one of the most touching stories that I've heard from the road so far was when the kids came up, uh, across a rest area and they have a big trailer and it says uh, 10th Gear Jet Foundation Jet Ride Exploring America for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And a gentleman came over to him and said, are you riding for Duchenne? And um, one of the leaders said, yes, we are. Well, there's a family back home in Boston, and we're going across the country spreading um, the word about Duchenne and maybe raising some funds as well. He said, oh, he said, my son died at Duchenne. And then he shared the story about his son and how he had just entered into college when he passed away. After they heard the story, they all cried. Like, they cried and cried and cried and cried <laughs> uncontrollably. Then they got back on their bikes, and they did, like, 84 miles and less time than they've ever done. So it just motivated them to do it. Standing together, your support drivers and your leader, Island Hall. He brought our kids home safely. And he accomplished something that most of us in our lifetime will never be able to accomplish. So Island, from the bottom of all of our hearts, especially from mine, I'm a little biased, we thank you. These 13 to 18 year olds left as uh, 
quite different people than they are today. I would tell you that I'd give any one of them the opportunity to lead anything for any group at any time, because I know they can do it. The wonderful thing that we'll all be able to see as parents and friends of these kids, these jet riders, is how this experience changed their lives. And that's a wonderful thing that I'm looking forward to in the next six months, to see how the kids have taken on that independence, the self-esteem, the self-confidence, and how they put it back into their lives and make it useful. Um, you know, they're just going to be the most awesome adults, and I can't wait to meet them then, too.